Hello everyone, this is Yadig Reddy. Welcome to my channel HVR Tutorials. If you are interested in learning more about automation testing with different programming languages and tools, please visit my channel. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it right now and press the bell icon to get a notification whenever I upload a new video. In this video, I will show you how you can download and install the Visual Studio. Before that, let me explain what is a Visual Studio. Visual Studio is a IDE, Integrated Development Environment, that is developed by Microsoft Corporation. It supports all the .NET programming languages developed by Microsoft Corporation. It also supports other programming languages. So with this Visual Studio, we can develop all type of applications like web applications, windows applications, mobile applications and Azure apps and also we can develop extensions. So Visual Studio has so many features like code debugging, code refactoring and it also has a excellent feature that is called code intelligence. That means while you are writing the code, Visual Studio will give intelligent support and it will give the suggestions. So on a overall, Visual Studio is a one stop for every kind of application development. Now we'll see how we can download and install the Visual Studio. Open your Chrome browser. Go to google.com and type Visual Studio. Press enter. So you can see the first link that is visualstudio.microsoft.com this is the official website for downloading visual studio just click on that link this website will be opened so basically in visual studio we have three types of versions one is community version next one is professional version next one is enterprise community edition is available for free of cost and professional edition is available for 30 days free trial and same with the enterprise version so if you want to know more about the difference between community version and professional and enterprise i will leave a link in the description box below you can go there and read it for yourself so now i am going with the community version so for downloading the community version mouse over on the download for windows and select community so this will download an exe file so this exe file is not the visual studio exe it is a visual studio installer once you install this visual studio installer you will be able to install the visual studio i am opening this application so it is preparing the content to install click on continue it will download the supported files from the web and then it will start the installation process the downloading is completed After successful installation, this Visual Studio installer window will be opened. So from here, you can install the required version. If you change your mind and if you wanted to install the professional version, you can do it from here. Whatever we have downloaded is not the Visual Studio. It is a Visual Studio installer. You can install the actual Visual Studio IDE from these links. So I am installing Visual Studio Community 2017. I will click on install. So here if you wanted to include any specific application development like if you wanted to develop web applications you can select ASV.NET and web development. If you wanted to develop any Azure related applications you can check this checkbox. So I am going with the basic Visual Studio version. I have selected .NET desktop development. I'll click on install so this will take some time here it will download the required files and parallelly it will install those packages so now the installation is completed and it will open the Visual Studio because while installation we have checked one checkbox that is after the installation start the Visual Studio because of that the Visual Studio is opening automatically. So in this window, if you have a Microsoft account, you can sign in with that account. If you are not having, not a problem. Just click on not now, maybe later. 
so here it will ask you to choose a default theme you can choose any of these default themes don't worry you can change this theme later also here you can see you can always change these settings later so here I am selecting blue extra contrast click on start visual studio so it will take some time and then it will open the visual studio so the visual studio is successfully installed you can start creating your projects and use i hope you enjoy this session if you like this video please hit the like button and also share it with your friends thanks for watching bye bye